Hi. Now for this question, we had to work out the x coordinate for point P on the curve where the normal was parallel to the line 2y plus x equals 0. And it turns out that that x coordinate is 3 over 2 or 1 and a half. And to do this, what I've done here, as you can see, is just drawn a sketch so that uh, I've got some idea of how this problem works out. So first of all, the line 2y plus x equals 0 is a line that's going to go through the origin and it's going to have a gradient of minus a half. If we rearrange it into the form y equals mx plus c, you can see that the m value is minus a half. So that means that the gradient of the normal passing through p, because it's parallel to this line, must also have a gradient of minus a half. And then I pick up on the fact that the perpendicular, which will be the tangent, must have a gradient of 2 if we use the perpendicular gradient rule. Remember, to get the perpendicular gradient, you just take the negative reciprocal of what you've got here. So in other words, switch the sign, so that gives us a positive value, and instead of 1 over 2, you get 2 over 1, which is 2. So the gradient of the tangent at P will be a positive gradient, a gradient of 2, okay, something like that. Now that means that the first differential of f of x must be 2, because remember, this gives us the gradient at any point x on the curve. So setting that equal to 2, remember in the first part of the question, we worked out what f dash of x was. Well, in fact, they gave it to us. So that was f dash of x, and we just equate it to 2. And all I've done then is subtract 2 from both sides. That gives us the 0 here. And then multiplied both sides by 4x to the half. So when it comes to multiplying this term with 4x to the half, you're going to get the 2 cancelling into the 4 goes twice. And then you're going to get 2 3s are 6. And then x to the half times another x to the half just gives you x. Okay? And when it comes to this term, the 4x to the half will get cancelled, just leaving you with 9. So you get 6x minus 9 equals 0. Rearrange it, and you end up with x equaling 3 over 2. Okay?